Hey kids, welcome to Mind Your Maths. So in today's uh, video, we are going to learn uh, three thumb rules that we need to remember whenever we solve any kind of problems, right? So this rule is not for only this video, but this is for the rest of your life, right? So everywhere in your life, whenever it comes to playing with numbers or math, you need these rules, right? So this is of many rules, we are going to just learn three of them. So as we go by, I will be, you know, making videos on the thumb rules separately and then uploading it as well. So for now, today, let's learn these three rules, right? So let's see what are those three rules. So I'll be teaching you based on um, a, a real time case so that you will remember it well. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Yes. Right. Okay. Um, so let's see the first, first problem, right? In this, so I have just written it down. Don't focus on there now. Let's focus on the first one now. So here we have six plus five minus two plus seven, right? So this has, this, this problem has two operations. One is addition and subtraction, right? This is addition again. So two types of operations, addition and subtractions only, right? So whenever you see something similar to this one, something like this, only addition and subtractions are there. How do you solve this problem, right? So in this one, what you do is you just do from left to right which means you just do from like six and the first operation and the next operation and the next operation just go from left to right yeah so let's do this one so for 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 this one what do we do six plus five right six plus five so six plus five is eleven right eleven we, we, we just write it here eleven and then next is minus two. So we just subtract the two from 11, which becomes nine, right? So nine, nine plus seven. Nine plus seven is what? 16, yes. So that is the answer for this one. So we just go from left to right whenever we have the operations only addition and subtractions in the entire equation this has only four numbers it can be any number of any numbers right but the entire equation will only have addition and subtraction then you just follow this rule the rule one is that when you have addition and subtractions you just straight do from left to right so for this one for the first one we receive the answer 16 yeah so 6 plus 5 is 11, minus 2 is 9, 9 plus 7 is 16, right? So let's go to the next one. So in the next one, you see 6 times 2 and then divide by 3 and then times 5, right? So in this kind of equation, it has two operations again, right? So multiplication division and then multiplication this can have it, it can just go on as well but the entire equation if it has only multiplication and division in this case as well what you do is you just go from left to right yeah same way so if we do left to right here so 6 times 2 is what 12 12 right so 12 divided by 3 is what 12 divided by 3, what? 4. 4 times 3 is 12 and 0, right? So 4. So this until here, the answer is 4. And then 4 times 5 is what? 20, right? So 4 times 5 is 20. So this one is equals to 20, right? 20 is the answer. So that is the rule 2. So in the rule two, when in an equation, you have only multiplications and divisions, right? You just do from left to right. Yeah. So that's the rule two. So now let's go to the third, third rule, right? The third type of problem where you have all the four operations in the equation. You see addition, 
subtraction uh, multiplication subtractions and division as well so when you have all these four right right now here only how many numbers five numbers are there but this one also can go on but mixed of all these four operations right so here is what most of the time people get confused how do I solve it right well some people might say we will just follow what we followed for the previous one okay let's go from left to right so in that case what happens is that 5 plus 4 is 9 9 times 2 is 18 minus 6 is how much 12 yes 12 divided by 3 is equals to 4 okay we get 4 answer 1 is 4 okay now some people might say oh no see if you cannot go from left to right let's go from you know it should be because all the four operations are there it should be you know right to left okay fine let's see what what if we do from right to left okay so 6 divided by 3 is 2 right 2 minus 2 is 0 and 0 times 4 is 0 again 0 plus 5 is 5 so answer 2 is 5 so one equation cannot have two answers right it cannot have two answers it has to be only one answer so both method are wrong yeah so that's what it tells us right okay so let's see what is the right method to do it so that is where the third rule comes into play right so the third rule is that whenever you see all the four operations addition multiplication subtractions and divisions right so the the third rule is that you always do the multiplication and the division first and then you focus on the addition and the subtractions right so that is the rule three so let's see how to do it which means first we focus on the multiplications and the divisions yeah so which means we just leave the five as it is and then the plus the addition as it is so let's solve the multiplication here four times two four times two is what yes eight and then we leave the subtraction as it is minus and then let's solve the division here so this is a division operation between these two numbers right so 6 divided by 3 is what yes it is 2 right okay so now we solve the multiplication and we have solved the division operation as well so now look here what do we have it has only addition and what yes subtractions so right now does it sound familiar to you yes it looks like the first rule yeah so we come back to the first rule so the first rule is what when we have addition and subtractions what do we do yes we just go from left to right yeah so in this case 5 plus 8 is what yes 13 13 minus 2 is what 11 right so 11 that's right okay, so the answer is 11 so that's how we solve when we have mixed of all the operations so that's the that's the rule three well guys so these are the three thumb rules that i wanted to teach you today and uh, that's all for this video so please let me know if you need to know more about these rules and i will i will make it clear in another video and uh, i think that's all for today thank you for watching